नमस्कार मैं हूं संजीव पांड्या और आयुर्वेदा मंत्र शो में आपका स्वागत है इन दिस आयुर्वेदा मंत्र शो एवरी वीक वी टॉक अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ आयुर्वेदा एंड पंचकर्मा हाउ इट कैन क्योर बट मोर इम्पोर्टेंटली हाउ इट कैन प्रिवेंट एनी मेजर सिकनेस एंड डिजीज ऑल्सो एंड दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन वी डू इट विद डॉक्टर अंबिका नायर ऑफ शांतिग्राम केराला आयुर्वेदा वेलनेस सेंटर यू एस ए डॉक्टर नायर हैज़ ओवर थर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस in in ayurveda herbs and the panchkarma treatments and she is the one who gives valuable suggestions once again i like to welcome dr nair thank to you, our Sanjeev. show thank Hello, you thank you you're welcome hope you all are enjoying a lot yes um you know once again our viewers are contacting us and sending us their notes and uh, one of the notes that we have this week is uh, to talk about pelvic inflammatory disease yeah. as i understand pelvic is more common in women than in men right and um, i think it's it's a, is it a really uh, unbearable pain in abdomen is it what pelvic is all about uh, no pelvic is common in both men and women acha oh it's common it's, it's common in both <laughs> no, men no, and I'm women acha okay. Okay. okay so but it is more you know common in pelvic inflammatory diseases see pelvic inflammation correct in the in the word itself everything is written it right. is a disease correct okay okay so it is the upper genital actually mm. you should say that because it it always comes through the uterus mm. you know this infection this is an inflammation actually mm. okay so first itself they will always you know like uh, complain of lower abdominal pain mm. okay so it can be like a salpingitis inflammation of the ovaries ophritis there are so many things in that okay, okay the organs but uh, they will always tell that because i have a lot of mere ko jab bahut zyada safed pani jata hai they will always tell oh, first starting will be like that okay mm. okay okay, okay and, uh, and uh, uh, itching will be there sometimes it will be very bad smell see if they don't take care at that time Got then it. it will start you know paining a lot they get intermittent fever also right. and it is through the you know like uh, through the uterus only really all this inflammation comes what age does this pelvic pain really start it i have seen this even with a 4 year old oh children, yeah. okay because really? actually urine infection you know like a urine uh, infection also causes all this thing white discharge will not be there pelvic mm. inflammation will not be there but you know the child will complain of so much of itching and all especially in the girls you know so oh. we tell them not to wear uh. you know keep it clean and all we tell the parents you know, what to do these children are very young they don't know what what they are doing and yeah. what exactly cause of this pelvic pain because see like uh, sexual abuse i should say that because of multiple partners mm. you know and they don't mm. keep it clean vaginal douches then using of any other you know like a gadgets mm. for their sexual satisfaction so correct. this all like a factor for all this things correct yeah very bad smell and really they suffer a lot Mm. because it can lead to like a very serious uh, damages also to the uterus also now it's it's a pain in abdomen so many people believe that pelvic pain may be caused by gas is it true the see it is very you have to ask the patient very properly and diagnosing has to be done very properly yeah. otherwise it can be mistaken because right. they will think that if i have appendicitis or any other thing like that mm. so we always you know like uh, how frequently you go for the urination do you have some people are very not at all open mm. so we ask them you know like uh, continuously and make you know take them into confidence and with but some people nowadays they come and tell also because we are treating see like uh, intestinal you know like uh, interstitial cystitis mm. Mm. like all these inflammations you know like in this country i get a lot of uh, you know like uh, Uh, clients in my clinic also not sure. uh, very bad cases comes to me do also. they come to you after after having gone to doctors and you know allopathy and those medicine right they must have like it we are treated for 15 years 20 years and they come to us <laughs> oh doctor i go every 10 minutes to the toilet because i cannot even tolerate i cannot even walk their wow. thighs will pain so horrible their calf muscles you know jaise paise chala nahi jata hai because mm. and they get so fed up because every minute you know like if you don't go you feel as if you will pass the urine over there mm. and even not only that the white discharge you know that will be very smelly and they themselves cannot tolerate it then how what you think of other people wow. so they you know we tell them to go for the you know it can be even hiv also mm. so it can be the sexually transmitted diseases also so mm. to rule it out we first uh, 
tell them they always come with the reports only and where they, we do treat it properly mm. very nicely we do treat it okay yeah. and then um, and uh, you have seen uh, more south asians also with this pelvic so pain so many south asians are Achha. there so many are there okay yeah. Um, do we know any other reason in, in our community what causes this pelvic pain? No, they don't, they don't go into, sometimes, you know, they suppress the urination, they keep over there. Oh. See, like in, you know, like in our show itself, mm. we can say that if, if it is for like one hour, if we felt like passing urine, you know, I should go. Mm. And so these all, you know, like if you cannot uh, clean it properly. But maybe, you know, there are some uh, limitations also. Maybe they are in a meeting, they are at work immediately, they cannot go or they are so driving. So this all, this uh, all, that's the environment. Combination you know, of many things. So it is not a small thing, it is a combination actually. Gee. Not only that, like, uh, see, like, uh, even one sex partner means you know about him. That is true. Okay, but right. this is like a multiple sex, uh, sex partners means Correct. you don't know what all they are bringing to you. Mm. And you know, like you see, everything is fine, but if you don't take care of yourself, then you will be in the well. Hmm. Yeah, that is there. Instead of becoming well, you will be in the well. Ah, yeah, instead of becoming well, you will be in the well. That's <laughs> a rightfully said. So, anyway, viewers, pelvic pain is the uh, topic of our discussion in this Ayurveda Mantra show. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll talk more on that. Welcome back to the Ayurveda Mantra show. In case if you missed before the break, we started to talk about pelvic pain with Dr. Ambika Nair of Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Centers in USA. Every week we talk about something very important and how Ayurveda and Panchkarma can cure that or prevent that. Dr. Nair, what you just said about pelvic pain, um, obviously it's very alarming. Uh, it's uh, it's very concerning, uh, you know, a matter that you discussed. How Ayurveda and the Panchkarma can cure this pelvic pain problem? See, first of all, when they come, hmm. you know, that we ask the history of the person, Ji. and they will be telling also not only that we diagnose them also through the pulse. Hmm. Okay, then we ask about uh, about their, you know, like a social, uh, you know, like a how social, social they, lifestyle, you know, you social know. lifestyle, their personal lifestyle, and Ji. everything. Ji, 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 and Ji. Um, some people they don't open up, but uh, still they open up to me. You know, I should say that. Well, they okay. need to open up in order no, they to will always have it because cured. They, they need a cure. Okay. Correct. Okay. So you know, like uh, like any yeast infections, Ji. they had any, you know, like a very bad, you know, like uh, bacterial infections. You know, like mm. uh, uh, so many medicines they must have used it. And a little hormonal imbalance also will always cause mm. all these things, mm. you know, like uh, candida, mm. this, all these, you know, like infections and inflammations. Achha. You know, like mentally sick actually, when you have a continuous inflammation like this, mm. you know, and not only that, you know, like uh, not only the pain abdomen, it will always, you know, lead to, because severe pain, mm. some days on the right ovary, on the left ovary, like inflammation on the ovaries, you know. Right. Otherwise, you know, even if it is very bad, it can even, you know, like uh, best out mm. and even go to the peritoneum, you know, like a uh, covering, you know, like mm. so that it can, it is very dangerous also if it is it not taken care properly. Okay. And the uh, inf inflammation will go, you know, in the blood count and all, mm. their TLC level goes very high. Sometimes okay. it is very difficult to treat even. Is it, yeah. uh, is it contagious? It's not contagious. Because but you mentioned you if you, in multi, a, in yeah. a multiple sex partner and yeah, everything. Yeah. So of course, the person will never tell, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, because actually it will be, it will be, you know, it will, it will transmit all the inflammation to the correct, other partner correct, too. Correct, exactly. So that it is important that uh, the, these people should uh, take care of mm. themselves. Then only they mm. should, you know, like mm. uh, g get into all the uh, sexual, uh, like uh, enjoyments. Correct. Yeah. Now, you know, after um, having gone through regular doctor and tried out uh, antibiotics and whatnot, when they come to you for um, Ayurveda, Panchakarma treatment, how can this pelvic pain be cured through Ayurveda? Okay, first of all, we, we give them, you know, like uh, special medicines are there to take yeah. care of the pelvic yeah. inflammation. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that we will be giving the herbal supplements. Hmm. We tell them how to take it hmm. and they have to be very strict in all those things, you know. Okay, when they take the medication, their diet is also more important. We don't allow them to eat any non-veg or anything mm. at that time because mm. actually we want a detoxification at mm. that time, especially mm. in the mm. treatment. 
Okay. So, you know, like Uttaravasti is there, first of all, the cleaning is there mm. inside the uterus. Mm. Okay. So, we give the Uttaravasti so that it will clean the lining of the uterus mm. and it all the toxins accumulated there will come out. Mm. Okay. It is very interesting also. So, like after one or two days, they will tell that you know, we are feeling much better. Achha. Okay, that is so. I have seen a lot of cases like that, okay. lots of cases. So, after uh, you know, following what you said, diet and uh, and uh, some other uh, you know restrictions, and then having treatment done, have you noticed the pelvic pain uh, coming back to patients? Uh, no, it is not like if they see if they don't drink proper water Indeed. and if they don't take the nutritional food is also more important. You understand? So, normally, you know, like it is uh, like uh, very rare, mm. I haven't seen that. Mm. Otherwise, it, even it can go to the kidney also, inflammation. You yeah, know, like if you so avoid it, if you yeah, really if you don't, don't take, take care, care of it. Will, actually, we have seen a lot of cases like that. Mm. So, we tell them that uh, because see, counseling is more important in this one. Correct. You know? Not only that you do the treatment and you run away. Gee. So, we tell them, you know, you have to be with us, that uh, you take the tips so that you know that you don't fall sick every mm, time. Mm, we don't want true. them to be sick Bilkul. and come to us. So the word of mouth, you know, once they go and tell the people that I am all right, so like that only Sanjeev, we get a lot of clients. Right. So in that, uh, you know, like I am really happy. One comes means they send me five people. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh, that's okay. true. So that's uh, really, I really feel happy with that. If, if someone has uh, pelvic pain in a very early stage, mm. is there a cure that you can recommend? Is there a home remedy that you can um, share it with our viewers? See, first of all, the urination, uh, they can take little barley water mm. so that the frequency will be that urination will not be stopped over Jee. there. Okay. Jee. Barley, you know, like uh, take one tablespoon of barley, uh, boil with the four cups of water, make it two cups and you can take that. Mm. Okay. One once morning and once evening, mm. okay, and even Gokshuradi, you know, like it's very much available everywhere okay. that you can use it. Okay, it's cleaning of the vagina, it is more important. You have to don't use any Dettol or anything. Everybody comes by burning the vaginal area. Yeah, that yeah. is very bad. You should only use soap and water because with all this inflammation, Sanjeev, there will be because of the see this is all acrid you know yeah. acidic yeah. so that area become very fissured like mm. cuts will be mm. there so mm. many cuts will be there and it is very painful for them even to walk one step use only water water uh, first soap and water then only with the water okay mm. even you can uh, use even trifala little bit of trifala yeah. like a pinch of trifala in one glass of water boil it you can even watch with that even mm. okay even satavari can be used for that. I think the most important point, uh, Dr. Nara, that you're trying to make is that, um, you know, do not listen to other people or don't, don't you think on your own that this is good, that's bad. Consult a doctor and consult maybe I with a specialist. Um, so that way pelvic pain in case if you are just in a starting stage, it can be cured. That's what it's all well, about. Yeah, it is really it can be cured actually. And not only that, cleanliness is more important when, you know, changing of your, you know, like uh, 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 pads and all during the menstruation, this yeah. all should be taken care. Okay. If you keep yourself clean and really you will understand how good you will be in your health. You Absolutely. Know, all right, viewers, we have more coming up uh, on this pelvic pain right after the break. Welcome back to the Ayurveda Mantra show. This week we're talking about pelvic pain. Many of you perhaps have experienced this or many of you know that your loved ones maybe have gone through this pelvic pain and how Ayurveda and the Panchkarma can cure it or even sometime in the early stage it can prevent um, this uh, pelvic pain to go up to that level where it's completely unbearable. You know, Dr. Nair, what are the complications related to pelvic pain? Yeah, like a pelvic inflammation means, you know, then it can be even create additions. Additions, we know, like addition means, see, like this is the finger. Mm. If something comes and, you know, like uh, attaches over here. Mm. So this will be like, you know, like uh, this finger will be look um, like, uh, like a blockage. Mm. Okay, it will become like a very big. Mm. So, you know, like these are the additions. When it comes to the uterine area, the tube and all, you know, because it will block the tubes. My God. Okay. Wow. Block in the sense, even if they con the conceive also, it can be a tubal pregnancy. 
so it can like it just a fart jata you understand it's very dangerous actually yes, yeah and even based upon what you were saying yeah. it really sounds and, dangerous and uh, another thing is that because see and their their life will be so miserable actually with this inflammation they cannot have a very good sexual life mm. okay mm. because this doesn't go out mm. if they don't take care in the mm. proper way okay that uh, this education has to be given to the people okay, okay. is is it a genetic it's not a genetic it's actually. not a genetic never never it is a genetic people always tell that it is a genetic so no. it's it's only because of your own um i guess negligence rather negligence. and not taking care of yourself Definitely. that's that's what the reason is it is, is the, you know like you have to take care of yourself nobody can take care of you hmm. yeah and not only that afterwards you know, with all this pelvic inflammatory disease you know it can become tubercular okay because continuous anywhere continuous inflammation mm. so it can be like a very chronic mm. chronic in the sense it can even become cancer it can even become tuberculosis mm. so this all the complications will be there Correct. then for the conception the reproductive system will be totally stopped ji yeah but then they will go here helter skelter you know like mere ko kaise bhi karna hai and uh, this all these things you know but that but by, by then it would be too late it will be too late actually but you know like a certain cases they succeed also mm. all the inflammation even the child will have issues you know can you like can you recall uh, any patient came to santigram kerala ayurveda center uh, with pelvic pain perhaps too late um in in a life and but still with ayurveda and panchakarma you were able to cure that yeah 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 i have like even uh, american patient you know like uh, recently she is already there with me that, that's what i'm telling correct okay which was like a frequent mixturation and mm. this white discharge she was her 36 i mm. think age of 36 mm. okay so she was treated with uh, so many very big hospitals over here Achha. and uh, like uh, treated like since so many years right. like uh, she told me around the age of like uh, 24 or like that she started getting mm. it mm. but uh, she was able to manage it but as it became very chronic now it is very difficult for us to mm. you know she is in a very good position also so it was very difficult for her to do it so mm. we did the panchakarma treatment we did three weeks treatment for her mm. because mm. it was needed for her mm. okay mentally and physically acha yeah to balance her and she really perfectly all right okay. she may be listening this and how long that treatment last uh, it was it was for like 3 uh, weeks 21 days because she had other ailments also Achha. so the 3 weeks treatment and uh, she was perfectly better hmm. that uh, this uh, inflammation was already over by like 11 like 12 13 13 days acha okay but uh, she is on medication even herbal supplements still mm. because i had to maintain it little bit because it was a very chronic case mm. and it was very bad smelling even you know like uh, very bad case it was so had that person not come to santigram kerala ayurveda wellness uh, centers uh, usa right we I, can't even imagine I, I, that person's condition by now yeah i tell you because actually somebody her uh, one of her boyfriend was indian acha okay so he only told her to come to you know to me mm. to try for ayurveda they have gone before also in new york ayurveda treatment so many medicines they have taken and uh, given our famous ayurvedic yeah. doctors but we did the uh, proper therapy and uh, she brought me so many cases i should say oh, really so many cases mm. see they are so grateful you know because see we don't we are not you know like to you know dupe them you know mm. to tell lies mm-hmm. or lure them no no absolutely okay, yes that's there we do treat for the cause that's all All right. Yeah. And that's what the uh, this show is all about. Ayurveda Mantra every week we get you um, very uh, you know important um, solutions uh, through Ayurveda and Panchakarma of any sickness and disease that can be cured and that's what the show is all about with Dr. Ambika Nair of Santigram Kerala Ayurveda Wellness Centers in USA. Dr. Nair once again thank you so much for your input. Thank you for sharing all this information with us for our TV show viewers. Thank you Sanjeev. we'll be seeing soon yes until okay. we meet again remember to stay healthy and happy and, and in case if there is any symptoms any signs that you have please consult your doctor and santigram kerala ayurveda wellness centers usa is just a website away you can get there all the information that you need to know and meantime should you send us uh, should you want to send us any question or uh, comments please do so info at santigramusa.com my dear lady viewers please take care of your pelvis because we all need it okay so if anything like that drink a lot of water and 
keep the area very clean. Thank you so much. That's the message from Dr. Ambika Nair in this show Ayurveda Mantra. Until we meet again, stay happy, healthy, and keep smiling so long. Thank you.